What would happen if you were hit by a 60,000 psi stream of water? And would a bulletproof vest help? You guys commented tons of horror stories on our last test, so today we want to verify them using ballistics gel and then analyze the unpleasant results using super slow-mo. We also wanted to test some more common household power tools to see how dangerous those are. And fair warning, these results are not for the faint of heart. So buckle up, keep your hands, feet, and peanuts inside the ride at all times, because it's about to get scary. Before we go crazy with the water jet, let's get a little baseline test with a pressure washer. The problem is I don't have a pressure washer and I don't wanna pay for one. So I'm going to use a cool little trick called stealing. As an extra little prank, I accidentally didn't turn the hose all the way off, flooding the entire shop. I wish that was a joke. I'm very sorry, car shop boys. On to the pressure washer test to see how dangerous they actually are. So this nozzle we're using has a 45, a 25, and a 15 degree. And then we're gonna do a zero degree after that and see which one actually pierces the skin. Don't want any water getting on our phantom here. Danny Phantom. We gotta write that on there, sure. <laughs> we have a fresh block of ballistics gel from Clear Ballistics. Big thank you to them for sending this to us. It is indeed very clear. This makes it a lot more clear and see-through. When we're done, we should do a high pressure fire test. That's stupid. Let's not do that. You're stupid. Well, you're the one with overalls and it's 95 degrees outside. Nuh-uh. All right, here we go with the 45 degree angle. It's so gentle. What's the pressure washer doing? That's miss mode. What is it doing? Local man shoots himself in the face with a pressure washer. All right, we're gonna forget about the 45 and skip to the 25 because it doesn't work. And it probably wouldn't really do that much damage anyways. Oh man. Oh, that's definitely doing some damage. I would not want to be anywhere near that. The longer I hold it on there, the deeper it goes, which is uh, scary. Yeah, do you want to put it closer on the 15? Like, touch it? That's a ton of water. Dang, so we definitely dug a hole in there. I can stick my pinky in pretty easily. That's like a good full inch, two inches. I'd say that's more about four like inches. Five or six inches, actually. Okay, so 15 you definitely don't want to put on your skin. That looks like it would hurt really bad. Let's go crazy with the zero degree. Bazinga. Holy moly, it's a spinner. Can we turn off the spin? Whoever was in charge of getting the nozzles really did a bad job. I'm actually kind of thirsty. No, no, don't, don't. What? Dude, did you see what just happened to the gel? Yeah, I'm not gel though. What, I haven't even committed any crimes. No, gel. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. That was fun. Um, so that definitely did a lot of damage. Because it's the rotating nozzle, it did like a whole cavity, whereas the 15 degree kind of just dug a hole straight down. Oh, jeez. Every time the stream rotates around, you can just see it boring into the gel. Ooh, that is digging deep in there. It's kind of beautiful. Maybe that's just because it's in slow-mo. Oh, that's horrifying. It's making a huge bubble. Oh my gosh. Now the water's starting to spray out. That is so nasty. Yeah, stay away from pressure washers. Oh, that's a big bubble. Let's do it on your arm next. Um, I gotta go feed my dog. Hey, you don't even have a dog. Yeah, I do. What the heck, who walks like that? Palmer, you're just in time to let us shoot you with the pressure washer. I'm excited. You want to take my hairy bagel? <laughs> Blur that out, blur that to... out, Bentley. Uh, never mind, Palmer, you can leave. Let's slap the, wait, wait, wait. Let's slap the hairy bagel in slow-mo. <laughs> what a shock boy. I am hitting the gym tonight. <laughs> Guess my weight in the comments, whoever gets it right, we're gonna pin ya. <laughs> that was totally how ridiculous. We'll pin ya! We also got tons of comments telling us to be more careful with the compressed air. What's so scary about it? It's just air. A little wind never hurt anybody. If you do a Google search, you'll see lots of people have died from compressed air. So we're gonna test it out on ballistics gel. This ballistics gel is great for this test because not only is it just like human flesh, but it's also really durable. So there's not gonna be any accidental injuries. So if the air compressor goes through this, it'll definitely do some damage to you. All right, it's time for the compressed air test. And we brought in an expert. 
I heard we had some ballistic gel. We do. We have a 10% block of ballistic gel. Let's uh, give it a slap test. Oh, yeah. I'd yeah. say meaty thigh like. Yep. It's ballistics gel, all right. There you have it. So here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad news. This is definitely causing you a pulmonary embolism. It's hot. Whoa, it is. That's weird. Let's see how deep it can go. For real, we're, we're burrowing. This is air burrowing. I think it's safe to say we could go all the way through if we wanted. I mean, it might not go as deep in human flesh, but you gotta think about all the veins and arteries and passageways that your body has that ballistics gel doesn't. So, I mean, pick your battle there. Well, I don't know if it was worth flying you out here, Elliot. I think you're gonna have to cover your own flight. <laughs> Let's see that in slow-mo. Oh, it's making an air bubble before it even touches. That's why it's so dangerous. Oh, there it entered. Oh dear, it's flapping. Look at those shock waves. Yeah, going through all the gel and it just burrows through easily. Wow, that's terrifying. Daniel from the future here. We want to connect better with you guys, so we set up a free Patreon and we're gonna post our Discord on there. So go click the link in the description. Time for the high pressure fire test. Oh, oh. That hooded. Are you all right? It wasn't that bad. Probably just like third degree or something. Just a little scorch on there. I told you that the high pressure fire test was a dumb idea. So. All right. We have a new approach that doesn't involve me burning myself. This might light on fire. All right, let's put this thing on the jet and jet it up. Doing, doing. My uncle also told me a story from when he was a miner, uh, the kind that digs, not the other kind. He told me they had hydraulics to hold up the walls of the mine, and if they had a little leak the size of a pinhole and you swiped your hand in front of it, it would swell up your whole arm like a balloon. And he said that was at 5,000 PSI. So 60,000, 12 times the pressure. Let's see what that does. I'm just gonna turn the water on for as short as a time as possible as I can, just to see what happens. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> and that tiny amount of time, it went all the way through. Man, that was so fast. And there was no garnet on, right? Yeah, that was no garnet, pure water only. I wanna see how that looks in slow-mo. So we shot this at 40,000 FPS. It's pushing it for these indoor lights, but we really wanted to see every detail. Oh, ooh. Wow, like pretty much as soon as the water jet turns on, it's piercing all the way through the gel. Man, at 40,000 FPS, that still goes really, really fast. Yeah, that water jet is cooking. Oh, it just like a laser goes straight through the gel. Oh, uh, you know what time it is. It's time for a sideways shot. It's a good thing we have a five axis water jet, eh? Don't shoot it at us, please. I'd say that looks good. What do you think, Dan? I don't know what that means. Yeah, Dan's our safety officer. He makes sure everything is as safe as can be. Oh, yeah, man. I can't put this in the video. Okay, I'll count one, two after turning it on. That was a weird noise. Oh my goodness. Get a view of the top. That's insane. And it blew out down here. It's not that big of a hole. Oh, that's hot. The water jet comes out like boiling. So you can see like at first as the stream is pretty strong and consistent, it's a very solid line. But then as it goes out, it starts to spread and get more destructive and nasty. So I'm really interested to see how that looks on slow-mo. Oh, here comes the stream. Wow. That kind of, oh, it's like boring. Not in the way your mom is, but the way a drill does. Wow, and it's like stopping and filling up like a balloon. This is so interesting. How it, the, each bubble gets bigger as it goes on. 
Let's fast forward a little. Oh, when it's playing faster, you can see the pulsating. Oh, it's getting close to the end. Just about, oh, there it goes. You can see the ballistics gel held on for just a second. Yeah, imagine this happening in your torso. You don't want that to happen in your torso. Well, that's why I have this vest on, right? Oh yeah. Let's see if you can protect yourself from the water jet with a bulletproof vest. I have here some Kevlar plates. These are bulletproof. Roll the clip. That was the first day we ever used the slow-mo cameras and it was rough. The question is, can it stop a water jet? We're just gonna do this red one because it's the thickest, just like your mom. And we'll see if it can stop the water jet. So it's gonna be the same as the other tests, just on and off as fast as you can, right? Yeah. Gosh, I thought you were Dan again. Here goes the Kevlar. All right, I'm in the splash zone here. Okay, I'm powering up the pump. All right, this is just gonna be a very brief on and off, just like the first one. All right, three, two, one. No way. Holy moly. Wow, that Kevlar didn't stand a chance. That might have made it worse to have the bulletproof armor on because I think as it went through the Kevlar, it kind of disturbed the water more and made it fan out more. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you'd be worse off wearing a bulletproof vest in front of the water jet. So this is the entrance wound right there. That's how precise the water jet is. That's the exit wound. So a little bigger. Well, let's watch that slow-mo. About to turn on. Oh, here it comes. Wow, okay, so there's a big initial burst out the sides. And it holds off for a little bit. So maybe depending on how long you're under the water jet, this could help you out. But keep in mind, this is no garnet. The water jet is almost always running with garnet, the abrasive in it. And that makes it a lot stronger. It'll cut through a lot more with the garnet. Okay, so it is holding its ground. The stream has not gone through the Kevlar to the ballistics gel yet. Maybe we should look at the real-time footage and see how long it holds off. Okay, let's fast forward till it bursts. Oh, that jet of water right towards the camera is not very nice. Okay, and then it bursts and goes through. That water is right in the way, but you can still clearly see the stream just going through immediately. So it looks like the armor does help for a couple milliseconds at least. <laughs> Craig said the only way we could film this video was if we cleaned his sign for him. 